Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on irregular pentagon. Uh, we're taking ratio and uh, also line of symmetry there. Now, here it goes. And it says a pentagon has one line of symmetry and the ratio of its angles at A, B, and C are 6 to 4 to 3 as shown. And AF is the line of symmetry. And uh, this is our pentagon there. Come on, there it goes. <laughs> right. And A, B, C, D, E, and F. So AF is the line of symmetry there. Uh, we're told that this is not drawn to scale there. Okay. Right. Now it says find find the angles of this pentagon. So you need to find the angle A and the angle B and the angle C and the angle D and the angle E. Right. Now this sort of pentagon with only one line of symmetry, yeah, which means that this half is same as this half here. This is referred to as the Bishop's Might uh, Pentagon. Because if you find that, you know, this is the sort of thing a bishop wears, it's called the bishop's mitre pentagon. And the angles there depends on the, you know, the, the, the bishop's head and that sort of thing, usually in, in that shape. Okay, and uh, ABC is, is the pentagon itself. Uh, we know that the ratio, because this is a line of symmetry there, yeah, now instead of this being 6 to 4 to 3, now this now becomes 3. To four to three because this line of symmetry bisects the angle A and also bisects the pentagon itself. So this this half, the right hand half, the right hand half is what the left left hand half. So this this bit here is what this bit here. Okay, and this angle is what this angle there. This angle D is what this angle C, and this half of angle A is what that half of angle A. So all of these add up to two seventy degrees. Half of 540. Right. Now we've got ratio 3 to 4 to 3. Now the sum of the ratios is 3 plus 4 plus 3, which is 10. So so 10 is equal to 270. So this 3 there, which is for this angle there. So angle A is equal to 3 over 10 times 270. That's 81 degrees. So this half of that there. Okay. So the whole angle would be double 81, which is 162. That's what you got there. Right. Now Ratio of 3 to 4 to 3, this is 4 divided by 10, that should be. So angle B is equal to angle E, and angle B will be 4 divided by 10 times 270, and we have 108 degrees. So B is 108 degrees, and E is 110 degrees. Okay, now, for angles C and D, right, we got 81 degrees as well, because we know the the ratio is 3 to 4 to 3. So if that's 81 there, the half of A is 81. Therefore, C has got to be 81 and D has got to be 81 as well. So we've got 81, 81 there. Now to check, if we add these angles up, 162, 108, 81, 81, 108, we should get 540. That's what we got there. I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.